you wrote a book harshly criticizing Anthony Fauci. Let me ask you to steel man the case for the people who support him. What is the biggest positive thing you think Anthony Fauci did for the world? What is good that he has done for the world, especially during this pandemic? You know, I don't want to uh, sit here and speak uncharitably by saying the guy um, didn't do anything, but I, I don't, I can't think of anything. I mean, if you, um, if you tell me something that you think he did, you know, maybe there was a drug that got licensed while he was at NIH that you know benefited people. That's certainly possible. He was there for fifty years, and I, I in terms of his um, of his principal programs of the AIDS programs and his COVID programs, and I think that the harm that he did vastly outweighed the you know the the benefits. Do you think he believes he's doing good for the world? I don't know what he believes. I, in fact, in that book, which is I think two hundred and fifty thousand words. I never try to look inside of his head. I, do, I deal with facts. I deal with science. So, and I, every, every factual assertion in that book is cited and sourced to government databases or peer-reviewed publications. And, I, and I, don't, I try not to speculate about things that I don't know about or I can't prove. And I, do, I cannot tell you what his motivations were. Or, I mean, all of us... He's done a thing, a lot of things that I think are really very, very bad things for humanity, very uh, deceptive. But we all have this um, this capacity for self deception. As I said at the beginning of this podcast, we we judge ourselves on our intentions rather than our actions, and we all have an almost infinite capacity to convince ourselves that what we're doing is is right, and. Um, you know, not everybody kind of lives an examined life and is examining their motivations and the way that the world might experience um, their professions of goodness. Let me ask about the difficulty of the job he had. Do you think it's possible to do that kind of job well? Or is it also a fundamental flaw of the job of being the central, centralized figure that's supposed to no, have a scientific I, policy? I, no, I think he was a genuinely bad human being and that there were many many good people in that department over the years uh um bernice eddy is a really good example john anthony morris many people whose uh, careers he destroyed because they were trying to tell the truth one after the other the greatest scientists in the history of nih were run out of that organization out of that agency uh, but you know I, I, people Listening to this, I, you know, probably, you know, will, in hearing me say that, will think that I'm bitter or that I, I'm doctrinaire about him. But you know, you should really go and read my book. And I, it's hard to summarize a, you know, I tried to be really methodical, to not call names, to to just say what happened. 